Welcome to Electra Online. Here's a question for you. What if we had two metal spheres suspended from a ceiling, a small distance apart, and we placed a little bit of excess charge on A, some positive charge on A, and then you see the two spheres attracting one another, coming closer. Can you conclude that B must be negatively charged because we know that opposite charges uh, attract one another and like charges repel one another. So perhaps the conclusion is, is B charged and does it have excess negative charge on it? Well, not necessarily is the answer. Why not? Well, if B is a conductor and it's neutral, meaning it has the same number of positive and negative charges on it, but since the charges, and of course in real life the negative charges could move through the conductor rather easily, the negative charges on B that are currently evenly distributed among the positive charges will, uh, will be attracted towards the positive charges of A, which means that some of them will migrate towards the left and you'll have a higher density of negative charges on the left side of the sphere. Because of that, you'll have an excess of positive charges on the other side of the sphere, since some of the negative charges migrated to the left side. And so, in a way, sphere B now becomes polarized. It has more negative charge on one side, more positive charge on the other side. And those negative charges on the left side are closer to A than the positive charges on the other side. And so there will be some attractive forces pulling them closer together. Maybe not as much as if B was completely negatively charged, and then of course they would attract more strongly, but because the polarization effect of the influence of the charges on A will cause negative charges to move this way, leaving the other side more positively charged, and since these are closer, they will indeed be attracted towards one another. So the answer is, not necessarily. B can either be negatively charged or neutral, but as a conductor, the charges will move reapportion themselves on different locations and there will be a force of attraction. That's how it happens.